So word on the streets, yes, I said streets, <laughs> is that one of the baddest babes around just came out with a new line, a new plus size line at that. Can you guess who? <laughs> Drop a comment and keep on watching to find out. <laughs> YouTube hope your day is going well today's video like the title says is a haul let's call this our early winter haul okay so not only will I be trying on the pieces I'll be styling them for you and I will be reviewing the pieces as well before we get into the video before we get into the video we have to thank today's sponsors. Today's video is in partnership with Nasty Gal. They are paying for this video, but as always, all the opinions in this video are my own. I got a chance to look through the Nasty Gal Plus section and I picked up a bunch of goodies that I cannot wait to share. One of the bigger trends for fall and winter 2020 is cutouts, cutouts everywhere. And so as soon as I saw this top, I was like, I don't have this in my closet. I need this in my closet. And I'm so glad I picked it up. There's just something so sexy about that cutout. It's in such an understated place. It's very subtle, but also very grown and sexy and just perfect. And honestly, this is just a simple rib top, but that little detail to me just takes it up another notch. And it's one of those pieces that you can pair with anything to dress it up. This top, girl, it's a must have. Get it before it sells out. So this next top was an added surprise and the color you wouldn't necessarily think you could wear for fall, but you could totally wear for fall when you pair it with some deeper shades. So top is giving me bustier vibes slash milkmaid vibes all smashed in together. It has like a square neckline. It has seaming going down the bust. It has puff sleeves, which you know we love around these parts. And then it has like a V coming down, which is why I say it's giving me like bustier vibes. Now for size reference, I got this top in a size 18. I definitely could have sized down to a 16. One thing to note though, is that the band on the cuff did run a little snug on me. So if you have bigger arms, you want to bear that in mind. So you guys know how I've been lamenting, woe is me, forever and ever about trying to find some tapered jeans in my size. Y'all, I finally found them. I finally found them. And I got both colors because I wasn't playing. Sis wasn't playing, okay? So I got the first color in black in a size 20. Now I'm gonna say that I this definitely runs true to size. I really should have stuck with my size 18, but I wasn't sure and I wasn't trying to miss it. For the size 20 that I'm wearing here in black, the only issue that I really had with it was that the waist was a little bit big. So I cinched it in the back. It's a little trick that I picked up along the way and it fits perfectly. It's so funny because I think last week or so, right when I got this order, someone actually left either a comment on a video or in the community post asking me to style pieces that typically aren't flattering on plus girls. And the example she gave was tapered jeans. And I was like, sis, how'd you know? Like, how'd you know? But anyways, here's my tip for styling tape tapered jeans. It's all about proportion. Because the tapered jean tends to bell out and have a lot of volume, you have to keep things, in my opinion, very sleek and very fitted up top, which is why I paired it with the cutout shirt. Also, personally, again, because we're dealing with a lot of volume, you want a little bit of height, so I would pair this with a pair of heels, just so it kind of lengthens you a little bit. And so, like, Nasty Gal really hit 
the nail on the head by including some pin tucks into these jeans. Because as you can see, there's a long pin tuck that goes all the way from the top to the bottom. And that helps to draw the eye up and down instead of left to right, which also is elongating. Now for the blue pair, I got that in a size 18 and you can see it fits me perfectly. It is a little bit like snuggy-ish around the belly area, that area that I don't really like highlighting, but it's not like horrible. And I also kind of noticed a difference between the jeans a little bit. I feel like the blue is a lot more stiffer, a lot more like old school denim and the, um, the black is a little bit more light wait i just wanted to mention that the next item i'm going to talk to you guys about is going to be this top i actually have on it is like a brown bodysuit it's in a chocolatey kind of like almost like a gray tone brown if you saw my fall and winter trends video shameless plug um you'll see that i was talking about how shades of brown are very very on trend for this season and i love the idea of mixing and matching different browns which is why i paired it with the um brown leather skirt so let me know in the comments below how you feel about wearing head to toe brown it's definitely something that is growing on me and i love the way the different shades of brown kind of mix and match with each other. And also the textures, you know, because the, the shirt is very slinky and stretchy and the skirt is very kind of like, you know, matte and leathery, <laughs> if that makes any sense. I'm wearing this in a size 18 and I could have definitely gotten a 16. So if you like a closer fit, which typically body suits are supposed to have a closer fit, I would size down. So the next item I want to talk to you guys about is going to be this leather mini skirt. Oh my gosh, I have been on the hunt for a mini skirt like this. I was just blown away by the quality of this item and the fit of this item. It's not too long. It's not too short. For me, I'm 5'7", and it's the perfect length for me because, you know, I'm not 20-something, so I don't need, a, you know, my short meter has gotten longer, if that makes any sense. It's lined, I got in size 18. I will say for the most part that it's true to size. It has a little bit of stretch to it, like a teensy bit of stretch to it. It was a little bit baggy in the waist for me, but that is to be expected. <laughs> so overall, I'm really impressed with the quality of this skirt for the price of this skirt. And I would give it a eight and a half, nine. Now, you know, I'm very stingy with my marks. So eight and a half, nine for this skirt. So I'm sure you're like, Chi Chi, when are you gonna tell us about this new collection? Well, the time is now. If you guessed Denise Badeau, you guessed right. Denise Badeau just launched an edit with Nasty Gal. And for those of you who don't know who Denise Badeau is, she is a plus size model slash activist and she has been advocating for plus bodies for years and she's actually one of the first plus size models to walk new york fashion week the collection boasts so many great pieces fiercely femme or fierce femme is the theme of the collection and it's so her that cutout top that i've been raving about that's from the collection and i'm gonna link my face for you in the description box down below said in the beginning of this video this was the first time for me shopping nasty gal and so i decided that i wanted to err on the side of caution when it came to picking certain pieces i tend to carry a lot of weight around my arms so when buying like coats and jackets i tend to size up unless i feel like it's cut kind of like oversized and so i'm gonna be sharing with you a couple of pieces that I didn't get the right size on. So the first item is going to be this trench coat right here. And in this case, I would say that you would, I would recommend that you size down two sizes for this coat. Now the, on the model, <laughs> you get a clue <laughs> that you need to size down. I don't know why I didn't pay attention to that. I would actually give this about an eight out of 10 because for the price for what you're getting, I think it's a good value. I loved all the details, the two tones. The next item I want to talk to you guys about is going to be this 
purple, yes, purple two-piece jogger set. As soon as I saw it, the color just caught my eye, okay? I've just been really into adding more color into my four fall wardrobe because X, we're all living in like loungewear and comfies. And I love two piece sets because, you know, you don't have to think about your outfit, okay? <laughs> so um, I like the fact that the top is cropped and it's actually quite adjustable. It is also is giving me kind of like an acid wash sort of vibe to it. It's slightly faded. And then it also has a mock neck again. This would be perfect once temps really start to like cool off into deep winter. So of course I will link this for you guys down below as well. Now for this piece, I would recommend sizing down two sizes as well. Actually, no, I would recommend sizing down one size for this piece because I think I got it in a size 20. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, so I would recommend sizing down at least one size. And if you're in between sizes, I would size down two sizes. All right, so if you have any questions at all, definitely drop them for me in the comments down below. If you've shopped Nasty Gal Plus and you're a part of this community, definitely share your experiences with the line down below. If you have any burning, burning, burning questions that you need answered like right now, like you about to add a bunch of stuff for your car and you're trying to check out, you can always find me on Instagram. Just slide into the DMs, okay? I'm there. I share daily outfit inspo. I share my finds most of the time there first. So come on over and join the family. It was an absolute pleasure creating this video in partnership with Nasty Gal. And it means the absolute most to me when you guys support brands that support this channel, that keep these hauls and these styling videos coming, cause the girl gotta pay some bills. So if you enjoy this video, you want me to continue to do more try-ons and more styling videos, then make sure you give this video a thumbs up and also share this video with your friends because sharing is caring. Now, before you go, before you go, <laughs> you can check out this video and I'm sure you will love this video. <laughs> Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, stay blessed.